Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 23rd of July, the local media headlines today. There are some aspects of Cornwall's health and education systems which have been getting a bit of a battering from regulators lately, with a doctor's surgery in Penzance being taken into special measures following a dramatic fall in the quality of care. The MORAB surgery has gone from outstanding to inadequate in just one inspection by the Care Quality Commission. Meanwhile in Falmouth, Ofsted has been sticking it to Falmouth School, condemning leadership and management as inadequate and accusing school bosses of off-rolling pupils in a bid to boost exam results. If they don't provide a satisfactory response this week, they could lose their funding. There's a warning, sort of, that if it doesn't rain soon, the reservoirs will get even emptier. And My Neighbour's Farm, which suffered a serious fire last week, hopes to be back to normal in a couple of months. Let's hope so. Pirate FM was among the media to cover a fatal car crash on the A30 on Bodmin Moor, in which a man's body lay undiscovered for nearly a day. Only one vehicle was involved. It's thought the accident between Plusher and Two Bridges happened on Saturday night. The body of a 25-year-old man wasn't found until Sunday afternoon. The BBC reported the arrival of seven travellers' caravans in a car park at St Ives. The Cornish Times told how a charity beer called Cousin Jack, which sees five pence of every pint go towards the RNLI, has raised nearly £15,000 over three years. The Cornish and Devon Post congratulated Launston's Amnesty International Group on reaching 25 years. And finally, Cornwall Live got back to normal with a Love Island story. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.